Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. We hope you have been enjoying the content all week. Uh, this week we are dedicating till not a little spoiler. Next week will be a little HHN. HHN. But, all right, but uh, it's your boy Sam here. We got Tony, um, and today we're here to talk about our most anticipated mazes at Knott's Scary Farm yep. uh, this season, 2021. Um, so without further ado, kick us off at number eight here, Tony. Uh, number eight, it's obvious, uh, Pumpkin Eater. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it's a bad maze, but it's not my favorite out of all of them uh, this year. So, yeah, Pumpkin Eater, obviously, it's just, you know, um, it's a good maze. It's a, it's a good buildup, but uh, there's so much other good ones out there. So, Yeah, I definitely, this is no knock on Pumpkin Eater. Uh, because uh, you're the the best of the best, the cream the creme de la creme. Yeah. Uh, um. So it's not like you're like a really bad maid. It's just compared to the other seven, you know, there's a little bit of work. Yeah. Uh. And some of these other mazes, I think, are, are really good. What I do like about pumpkin eater, though, to, to 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 focus on the positive here, since we like positive energy here on the channel. Yep. Is I do like the way that it kind of ties into the hollow. With it being like a neighboring town to where the hollow is taking place, yeah, um, I enjoy that, and uh, I really enjoy. It's kind of spooky throughout and dark, um, which really lends itself to not need a lot of actors. At least in 2019, it felt that way. Yeah, um, and so I thought that was good. Uh, well, I, th I like that like, oven scene too. The oven scene is sick. I like the cornfield. Yeah, um, it's it's a good maze, but like you mentioned, it's just. It's a slight tier below the rest. Right. Um, but uh, no, number seven for me is uh, one of Tony's favorites because he always gets spooked no matter what. And that is Dark Entities. That's that's my number seven, too. <laughs> uh, it's a great maze. Um, I think it's like Pumpkin Eater. I think it's slightly underrated um, because they just have so many heavy hitters at Nod yeah. that come uh, that, this year. Um but I think it's a great maze. I really enjoy typically like Pump Theater. It has a short line. Mm -hmm. So you can get that, get in there, get a good little spook um, and get out real quick. Um, and I, I love that it's like Dead Space ass. Um, and so like I, I, I like the game Dead Space. So it kind of reminds me of that. I will say this every year until it leaves. And even if it, even when it leaves, we'll probably continue to say this. Please give it the special ops treatment because that's yeah. what we're looking for. Because um, I feel like that would be a real fun time. Kill some aliens instead of zombies. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Be a good time. Uh, yeah, so, same with me with Dark Entities, man. Like, I love it. It's a fun maze, and um, it's good to go through. I just, I you know, if it had the special ops treatment, I think it'd be up higher on the list. Um, yeah. But it's a well-detailed maze. And it's really hard. I think we had this problem in 2019. It's really hard to list and rank these mazes only because, like, they're all good in their own ways, but yeah. it's like you got to think of like popularity purposes and 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 just overall how you really feel about them. But Dark Entities is a fun one. Um, so yeah, moving on to number six for me, uh, Waxworks. Um, Ooh. So I like Waxworks. The idea of it's cool. They're going to like abandoned, burnt down like kind of wax museum is cool. Um, I it just like out of the two mazes that came last year, uh, I I did like Origins a lot more. Um. But Waxworks was still very terrifying, and it had its its awesome moments, and and we knew a couple people that worked in there, so it's really cool to see everyone, um, you know, open a new maze and and be part of that experience, and and say they could be part of that experience. But, uh, you know, Waxworks for me, I mean, it was a fun time, but I feel like these other ones ahead of it are, are just slightly better. Oh, we disagree on that. We we are definitely disagreeing here at number six. Because my number six is Paranormal Inc. Uh, and, and this is going to have, the, it, it has a lot of the same rationale that I have for Dark Entities. Is I see so much potential in there and I want the lights out treatment. <laughs> and until I get the lights out treatment, I'm, I'm ranking it slightly lower. Uh, yeah. Because I think that lends itself to a beautiful maze um, it, it with lights out. Because it'll, it'll take the scares from a tier to S tier, and it's just well above. 
because there's great scares throughout paranormal yeah um the, the opening the opening sequence is so sick the fact that you get to go two paths i mean this spoiler but whatever right um, super sick so you're always getting a new experience as you're going throughout it yeah um so i i like that but i think because i want the lights out treatment and i feel like it's already amazed that it's been done many years now i want something to change and, and that changes what lights out for me yeah all right what's your number five number five for me which you're probably gonna be like what the heck is the deaths okay i i love this news it's it's all cookbook we got the we got our favorite got scene 316 in there. bro in there yeah cook 316 we, we're good to go uh but i feel like because this is a maze that usually has a really long line at least every time we get to it it's always like an hour wait i'm just I, it loses the anticipation right uh, um and so for me like it's a great maze i love going down the shaft and then seeing what it has to go under underneath because i'm a sucker for the sea I love this sea. We have so much to learn about this sea. Under the um, sea. I, yes. <laughs> and I love the folklore of the sea as well. Um, but I just think because of the line, sometimes I'm just by the time I get in there, I'm just like, I'm already over it. I'm already like, all right, let's 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 just get through here. Yeah. And then I always think back to one of the times we were in there. You know, we're trying to have a good time and go throughout it. And the people in front of us are stopping to take pictures. They're messing around. And I'm just like, <sighs> So I still have that sour taste in my mouth, too. Yeah. Uh, number five for me is going to go to Paranormal Inc. Okay. Um, I am with you on the lights out treatment. I would love to see that. Uh, Paranormal, for me, I, I think the only thing that I would like better, in my opinion, is, uh, you know, instead of doing the same thing every year, to kind of take that story and expand it and and, and go multiple locations. Maybe keep the, Maybe keep the same maze concept for like two or three years but then like maybe after that like change it up to like a new okay we're at a new episode a new location um because they can keep that paranormal ink franchise going for a while and and really yeah. kind of keep uh keep you taking to, to different places like in a mental hospital or um an abandoned graveyard or something you know you can go you can get different creative with that and, and i would love to say like our abandoned hotel like that'd be really fun you know just to see different episodes of this of this show would be really cool so um, but nonetheless, it's, it's a fantastic maze, especially last year when they added that like kind of false shining type ending where like, you know, you're, you're going through the chaos and then at the end you go through like the little air bubble, the air, like, you know, claustrophobic tube and stuff. And yeah. then, um, you get to the other side and it's all like bright and like, it, it's like nothing ever happened. So it always gave me the kind of idea of fan theory of what if you're the one going insane, you walk into this insanity, but then you go to the other side and it's all just kind of a facade for things, you know, what's really happening into this hospital, you know what I mean? So, um, hey, hey, speaking of facades, paranormal has probably the best facade. It's it's a really solid facade. I mean, you have the open, you have those gates and then you have the, of course the the penitentiary and the big opening of the door leading into yeah. that first room, man. It's 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 a beautiful facade too. And then, wow, and then they put the lights on it, it looks even better and stuff, so all hand painted a lot of that on the wall too, so that's cool. It's but, a beauty. Yeah, Paranormal is going to be number five. For number four, an oldie but a goodie, man. Oldie but goodie. I think I know where we're going. Dark Ride. Heck yeah. Dark Ride is a lot of fun. I love the idea of uh, entering an abandoned carnival ride where the uh, quote-unquote freaks kind of took over and uh, kind of made it their own little little fun land in a way. So you go through different scenes of the, the ride. In the beginning, it's mostly like – a rundown ride, but you're seeing a lot of the animatronics starting to try to work and, and like the sound going in and out and stuff, which is really cool. Then you eventually go behind the scenes of the ride and you get to see a lot of like where the, a lot of the freaks took over and where they're hiding and where they set up camp and stuff. And then it all ends in the big grand room, which is clown hell, which it's known as uh, where all the clowns are kind of just in like this big old, like looking like a playground kind of thing. And they're just kind of going around scaring people. And then you finally end in the gift shop, which I thought that was a cool addition. One of the cool additions they added in 2019, as well as a security room as well. So um, that that was a lot of fun to walk through that. It still is a lot of fun to walk through it. And it, it just gives me a lot of, uh, you know, vibes as a kid when you read like Goosebumps and stuff like that. Of course, when they had that that one book where they went to like, it's called like Horrorville or Horror World or something like that. And um, it, it just really makes me think about like classic dark rides and stuff. So. 
Yeah, I agree. Number four for me is, is Dark Ride. It's a phenomenal maze. Yeah. Um, it's well done. The lighting, the sound, just the, the overall design is is there. Uh, it's oldie but goodie, as you said. Yeah. And I love the journey and story that you that we're going through. And I love that this is one of the mazes where they get to use animatronics in addition to scare actors for right. the scares. Um, and, and also to give you decoys and there's a lot of creative scares um, throughout. And I mean, Clown Hell is literally always a fun time because yeah. you never know what insanity is going to be going on yeah. in there. Um, the, agree, uh, the, 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 uh, the monsters in there are definitely well equipped to play and have a good time. Yeah. I, I would love it, especially when you're going to the back, like the electrical security room. Like when you first enter Clown Hall, go to the security and electrical stuff and come back out like those the monsters would come get you on the other side yeah they'd wait like if they you. caught you if they caught you in the front they were going to catch you in the back yeah um which i loved i loved the slide um and then just exiting in the gift shop um uh, with it with your picture taken it's so fun yeah. i wish you could buy the picture because yeah. <laughs> there's some really great moments yeah, in yeah. There. there really was it was a lot of fun uh what about number three for you man my number three is waxworks uh, Waxworks for me is number three. I had a really good time. It was great to see the progression of it from the first night that we went into it all the way till the end run. Right. Um, just because I think the actors got better and better in that maze. And it has a, a great design and a great concept. Right. Because um, it just makes me think of the Wax Museum that was on Beach Boulevard prior. Movie Land. Movie Land, yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of the Wax Museums throughout the world. Um, so it just makes me think of that. Um, and I, and I, I always had fun with the uh, the creator out, like when he was running around right. outside. He was always giving a good time. Um, I, and then just all the the little um, the little Easter eggs throughout it. I, what did it have? Um, I, I would watch the world in Mountain Way with you or whatever that cure lyric, cure lyric, it, the cure. I can't, why can't I say that? Um, on the mirror, I, I love that. It yeah. made me laugh every time I went through. I love the like you can press buttons and stuff in it to activate different effects. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think they'll be doing that this year, but uh, if they do, catch your boy, um, you know, risking Pressing risking buttons. life and <laughs> risking <laughs> life and limb to press buttons. Um, and I and I, I just had a good time throughout, and I, and I thought it was well created, um, and it was it was a lot of fun, and I and it always makes me laugh how they. What was it called before? Like the Devil's Gate or something like oh, that? Oh, the Devil's Den. Devil's Den. And everyone was so like, oh, damn, what is this going to be? Yeah. And then they announced it's Waxworks. They're like, wait, what? I thought that was so funny that they did that. Just like Gunslingers 2, Grave Revenge or something like that? or <laughs> Yeah, Gunslingers 2. <laughs> when they did that for <laughs> Origins. Um, yeah. My number three is going to go to the Depths. Now, uh, if you guys know me... Um, Especially like it, I, it comes a lot from with uh, with my dad. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of like underwater sea creatures like Cthulhu and you know like all this you know you know what movies like Aquaman and and stuff like that. Like under underwater really fascinates me. And like Sammy said, there's so much to learn out there that I think we've only hit a tip of the iceberg when it comes to exploring underwater because there's thousands and thousands of miles down that we haven't even explored yet because we can't have we don't have the technology to get down there yet, but there's so much like sea creatures and, and stuff that, that have not been discovered yet. And that you've seen in mythology over the years and stuff. I thought this was a good blend of like, you know, uh, cause there is some pirate stuff at the end, which is really cool. So it's a good blend of like pirates with like sea creatures and like miners and stuff. So it kind of tells like one big massive story. And as you just, as you go deeper and deeper into the, um, into under the water and the depths, like you got to see a lot of these sea creatures and, and like the shark and, the giant octopus and whatnot. It's really cool. And then going through the ship, too, is a lot of fun. I think that's, like, one of the best parts of the whole maze is when you walk through the pirate ship that's just been sunken underwater. It's a lot of fun. Um, a great time for me, and I, I really enjoy the depths a lot. So I can't wait to see it come back, especially now that we're seeing a lot of new stuff being hung in the outside. Now the old shipper man has a little friend. He's got a little shark hanging right there, so that's a lot of fun. Ooh. It's going to be fun. A so new, new friend. Number two for me. Number two. Origins. Um, Origins is a solid fucking maze. Um, I, I love Origins to death. It was probably my favorite maze of 2019. 
And number one, or just the curse of Calico. Um, it, it's just literally, we, we keep saying it time and time again, it's just a beautiful love letter to Ghost Town. This is the story of how this um, kind of origin of the character of the witch started. And the witch has been an icon at Not Scary Farm since the start. And it will be an icon at Not Scary Farm long after we're gone. So um, to see that, you know, we get a kind of backstory of how the witch became the witch and how the town kind of turned on her and all that. It's a lot of fun to see all that kind of stuff, and I and I can't wait to go back through again and really see all the details put into that maze, all the Easter eggs that we didn't get to see the first time around that we'll pay attention to this time around, and just to see, just to see the beautifulness that is Origins. I mean, it's just a solid maze, and I cannot wait to go through it again. Number two for me will be Mesmer Freak Show of the Mind. Wow. Um, I love the preview. I'll get to number one when we get to number one. I mean, it, you, you can do the you can do this track by process of elimination. I don't <laughs> think it's that hard to know who's is number one is number one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think Mesmer for me, it looks like a great time, something new. Um, but I'm not 100 percent sold. Um, because I, I number one has a very very special place in my heart. Um, and. I think it's going to be a great maze. Yeah. Um, I'm so, obviously we're sad to see Shadow Lands go, but uh, we think it's going to be a great time. And I think, but I just, I, I don't know what to expect because the preview only gave us so much. Right. And so I think, it, you know, it could move up my list, could move down my list, depending on what it ends up looking like. But I know what I'm getting out of number one. <laughs> Origins, the Curse of Calico, I know what I'm getting. And I am getting what you said, a love letter to Ghost Town and a beautiful maze with no wasted space yeah. from beginning to end. So many great scares as you get to go from the courtroom and just see the story of the Green Witch and watch her come to power and then watch that effect take hold on the masses of ghost town yeah so great it has the best line cue above all from the moment when you walk in with the great diggers all the way to hang that witch it is a beautiful line cue that just gets you so hyped and then the maze exceeds expectations when you walk at i i've yet to hear one bad thing about that maze yeah and so and even though i've only had a short tenure here with knots I enjoyed so what I can only imagine someone that's been going 20, 30 years or who has worked the event, just all the little Easter eggs and time I was taken in that maze is amazing to me. Uh, and, and the fact that at least in 2019, you had a time with the hanging, the opening, um, that was good. And just this overall folklore of the, the event um, and, the, and the way it tied to the scary room too. Yeah. So I, I just think it, it's it's so above and beyond that that, that I can't wait to, to walk through it. There's only one thing I'm looking forward to more this season, and that's to watch the opening ceremony and watch those monsters come out of it for the first time. That is the only thing I'm waiting for more. Yeah. But uh, it's it's close because I just loved Origin. I got to go number one, obviously, the new maze, Mesmer. Um, I was sold on it 100%, and I love the vibe it's bringing, the idea and the fan theories that are building behind it. You know, is this connected to the Goring 20s? Is all this connected to Origins? Like, how does this all tie in? You know, all this stuff. So, you know, I, I really like the idea of him poisoning the, the, the kind of ringleader of the show and then him becoming kind of like a, a voodoo-possessed kind of person. Um, and then the flashes of images of other freaks that you see throughout the maze that you're going to see on top of that, just seeing the construction, they're building like a whole kind of like on top of like the facade, they're building like little circus kind of tents, uh, outside of it. That way they're kind of like little like shows or like, like vendors or whatever, but it looks a lot of fun. It looks like it's really going to immerse you into that circus world. Um, plus it's a new maze, man. We haven't had, you know, a, a, a new maze obviously with COVID and stuff in like two years so that you could tell they've been waiting to bring this one out. For some time that in the goring 20s um so i'm excited to see what they have to bring with mesmer um I, i'm really excited i mean the shadowlands location is a very good location it's a very big location 
um, for a good size maze. So I'm excited to see something new, and and it's gonna go perfect with Carnival. Um, obviously that area is already clown themed, so to have a maze such as Mesmer, which is more of like a 19 early 1900s kind of style circus. To bring that over to that area, it's going to fit the theming perfect. And and like I said, I, I kind of really do hope it ties into the Goring 20s more um, because of that green liquid. It looked oddly similar um, to the thing. And I know in one of the videos that we broke down that maze, we were actually theorizing that you and I. So I, I, I can't wait to see what what comes into fruition this year and, and how this is going to look when it's uh, done and completed. So, yeah, that's, I guess, both of our anticipation list. Uh, we will be doing a video... Shortly after Haunt, I think after we've gone a second time, that way we can com confirm everything that we've liked um, on our our list overall, what we thought of every maze, and, and, and it may change, it may stay the same, but uh, for the most part, I think we're, we're just ready for a good time, man. It's, it's been so long since we've been to Knott's, and we can't wait to go back and, and see everybody and, and just go through all these beautiful mazes, all these amazing scare zones, and see some of these really well put together shows so yeah not to mention, but we want to hear from you a funnel cake too yes but we want to hear from you drop down in your comment on the on our comments below uh what you're most anticipated for drop a list top eight mazes if you want or you can just talk about the one you're looking to looking forward to the most if you like this video don't don't uh don't be shy like that video um also if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button turn those bell notifications on if you want to uh Follow us more. You can hit us up on social media on Twitter at Knights of War and on Instagram at The Knights of War. It's been fun, uh, but we got to run to the haunts. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. You're moving into a